What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Pride OG and I'm back at it again with a tarot reading this time for the lovely sign of Libras. Hey Libras, how y'all doing? What's up? If your birthday is from September 23rd to October 22nd, then you are a Libra. Shout out to y'all. I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross reading for you guys. It is a general reading for the sign of Libra. So if you happen to be a Libra, then it's a general message. So everything is not going to resonate necessarily perfectly because it's not a personal reading, but this is a general reading for the sign of Libra. So shout out to the Libras if you are here watching this or if you know a Libra or if you have Libra somewhere in your chart because guys, we have more than one sign. The only sign we typically go by mostly people mostly only go by their sun sign because that's the sign that we were introduced to from, you know, early like that's normally the first sign that we are tr introduced to our sun sign so we have a sun moon rising so you can check that out find out how to find your sun moon and rising um i don't have any links or anything right now but yeah y'all can google it that's what i had to do but yeah anyways let's get into this reading for libras what's the dominant message for libras today okay so we have soul tree and you are the universe libra so there is some sort of knowledge trying to come through to you um that you need to ground yourself in angelic messages want to come your way libra you are the universe and you need to know that we are all the universe but right now libra this is a very important message for you from spirit it's like it's time for you to sprout out into um so much more like you have a lot of nutrients you have a lot of um benefit to bring to the world there's a lot of benefit coming to you too from the world libra you are the universe you need to know that your soul tree popped up though probably speaking to the fact that um there's some sort of i think i was getting like the family tree something in your family tree some sort of information that you could be receiving from your family's traditions family tree you know, some sort of knowledge coming into you right now, Libra. I'm really picking that up because you are the universe and it's time that you realize that. This card says trees are filled with wisdom. I'm also thinking that maybe you should get out into nature and get around some trees. You know, you are becoming more connected to nature. Trees are great holders of wisdom and knowledge. Next time you are near a tree, try asking it what, um, try asking it what it would like you to know and listen with an open heart for an inspired response, okay? So it's like really, trees do hold a lot of uh, information and knowledge for us. So y'all, appreciate the trees that are around you. Get near a tree because there's a lot of insight that can come to you the more trees you are around. So actually getting out into nature is really good right now. Step outside, Libra, get outside. You are the universe, their um, divine essence. The tree's divine essence flows deep into um, into mother earth you see what i'm saying so it's a lot of information y'all got to think about it we live on a planet that provides for us endlessly all we got to do is plant seeds into the ground and look sprouts the ground sprouts life for us and we have food and we have uh resources and everything so you know you got to have faith in the universe and in this earth that we live in on this plane you know know that there are higher forces of um there are higher forces of energy that are guiding us and you know divine divinely guiding us throughout our journey on this earth all right we are the universe so it's time that you tap in tune in and realize that libra that's what i'm really getting right now from this message because this is the basis of your reading soul tree tap into your soul there's a lot of wisdom that could come to you by just simply getting into nature yeah balance see libra the balance card popped up in reverse there's some sort of balance you need to bring into your life you might be so wrapped up in the physical world um and you might have other people in your ear right now that is um you know knocking you out of a balance i don't know but you just need to blend the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary okay so yeah everybody has their perspective but you have to balance out the perspectives and go with what best feels to you or what feels best to you but i also see in this card a man that is um you know the the cups are being reciprocated there's like rainbows being reciprocated from each cup so it's like light being shared 
from one hand to the other. So, you know, in all relationships, Libra, you definitely have to find balance because balance is what Libras are all about. Um, yeah, so you might be feeling a little out of balance right now. This card also popped up in reverse for you. So Soul Tree, I feel like you haven't been getting out into nature enough. That's why this is showing up too. You need to get out into nature, Libra. The power of diversity, self-control, and patience, okay? Be patient, all right? And um, what else? Like, I feel like, yeah, you just have to be very patient right now. Be patient. Be patient, Libra, because, yeah, there's some sort of loving connection trying to come to you with the Three of Cups. Look, there is, um, actually, I feel like this is what the challenge is. I really feel like you want to connect with other people or there's some sort of joyful news that you want to receive, but, or other people might be coming to you right now with their news and it could be like throwing you off. I don't know. But this is some sort of news worth celebrating. This is a challenge, though. This is what's kind of standing in your way, this Three of Cups energy. It could be like a third party. I don't know. There could be like... Um A close community, like you're connected with some people or there's some sort of connection going on that is knocking you off balance with other people. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm really getting. What's the past for Libra? What's the past energy resulting for Libra right now? What past energy is popping up? Yeah, see the ego popped out for your past energy. It's like you might be feeling trapped in a situation with someone or something. And uh, you just have to accept responsibility in the situation that you can make the choice to free yourself and call on your angels to help you, Libra. All right. There's some sort of addiction or unhealthy habit that's showing up right here, too. Some sort of unhealthy habit popping up for you. And the wheel also showed up, too. So I feel like you need to move past this. You need to move past the ego or whoever's egoic energy that you might have been dealing with, Libra because it's unhealthy and even with you there could be some there's really like anytime we are experiencing something out in this world that we live in y'all is because the life that we live like on earth is a reflection of our inner world like what we have going on within us is what we attract on the outside world so if you happen to be attracting a lot of people with egos that's because there's some sort of um improvement or some work that you probably need to do with your own as well so you're releasing unhealthy addictions from the past that's what i'm getting that's what's going to bring you back into balance right now libra release the ego move forward because the will is a very fortunate card that speaks to progression and just motion forward it could also represent a lot of good things it's just a really positive change in your life travel or a new vehicle i definitely think it's like moving past the past like moving forward from past energies that could be potentially holding you back all right what is consciously going on for libra conscious energy what what is consciously taking place what is on libra's mind let's see oh yeah we got the seven of swords oh no i'm sorry i'm so wrong with that that was the seven of wands excuse me <laughs> We all make mistakes. Okay, but look, y'all, the seven of wands popped up and this is you standing up for yourself and what you believe in. You got to have the confidence, Libra, to choose um, yourself. You know, like nobody's going to stand up for you like you. And this is showing up in reverse. So it's giving an imbalance here. I feel like you're not standing up for yourself, Libra, as much as you possibly could. You could be standing up for yourself more. All right. Um, but choose your battles wisely. You don't got to fight with people. This could be a very cloudy time for you. And it could be very stressful because there's some resistance going along, going on. Like you could be resisting some sort of help, um, or some sort of insight. Like that could be knocking you off balance too. Cause like I said, you're off balance with this. This is showing up in reverse too. So that's knocking you off balance. Either you're not standing up for yourself. It's like you're allowing other people's egos to overpower you, Libra. And no, 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 no. We can't have that. We cannot, Libra. And I know that you are strong enough to find that balance or wise enough, you know? Yeah, see, some, there's some sort of relief that you're looking for. At the bottom of the deck, the Six of Swords popped up. And this is a relief card where you are... Um, coming out of a very challenging time and things are looking up, but you might not feel like that because like I said, you still are holding on to some past addictions. Yeah, the two of cups in reverse showed up. So there's some sort of relationship that you're falling out of or there's some sort of disconnect within yourself. Um, you might not be forgiving 
yourself for past issues or mistakes that you might have made with other people or like even past relationships i'm feeling you know like this is um a card that speaks to not giving up on people that you love so this means you first and foremost i really feel that we have to have an intimate connection with ourselves with the masculine and feminine energy that is inside of us you see this woman and a man sharing and bringing life to one another and giving and exchanging gifts that's like you the male or sorry, the female and the male in you coming together to make a solid human being, an individual who loves themselves. This is um, definitely tied consciously. This was the card that popped out too with this because I didn't ask Spirit yet about your next card. So I feel like this is tied to you being knocked off balance and standing for what you believe. You have to love yourself first, Libra. Okay, that's what I'm really getting with this. The seven, the seven of wands and the two of cups showing up in reverse is like you're not standing up for yourself and and or some sort of relationship with someone that you love. Um, you might be just putting somebody before you. That's what I'm really getting. It's like you putting a man before you. If you are a woman. Libra watching this video right now, you could be putting somebody before you, a man before you, or trying to please someone else before you. Um, but no, like, I really do feel like you have to, yeah, let go of, pet. yeah, especially if you've been in a relationship with this person, because the Six of Cups is showing up in reverse, and um, this card speaks to you reminiscing or nostalgic memories, thinking about how the past used to be, and that's also knocking you off balance, because the past is the past, and it's never gonna come back. Um, you know, like, the past is the past, Libra. Like, you gotta leave that where that's at, okay? This relate. This is also really giving me that there's some sort of relationship right now that is you're falling out of a relationship with someone, and that's okay. That's why you really need to get out into the world and tap into nature and realize you are the universe and you are worthy of bouncing back or coming back into a better situation where you are more balanced again, Libra, because you are the balanced sign. You are the sign of balance, so... For you to be out of balance is shocking, you know? That's a little um, <laughs> nerve nerve wracking, especially for you and people who know you or that are close to you. So, you know, let's really see what's up next for the future for Libra, Libra's future. Okay, Empress. Okay, I love this card when this card pops up, but it's in reverse. So this is definitely speaking to some sort of imbalance, but you are the Empress. Shout out to all the women Libras out there that's watching this. But even if you are a male Libra, you can still be um, in tune with your feminine side, but this card is a very feminine card that speaks to you taking action in your life. And this is your future card, so give birth to your dreams. There is a future that you have that are filled with amazing dreams that you want to bring into fruition, Libra, and you can't allow this energy of the egos or somebody from the past that might have been stopping your bag or getting in the way of your will, you know? Um, you got to remove that because it's time for you to take action and really start to nurture yourself there's a lot of abundance and prosperity waiting to come to you but if you don't shift the energy um then that's what it's looking like for you but the queen of cups is showing up at the bottom of the deck with the sun so it's a bright time coming you can stay compassionate and loving the queen of cups is super loving compassionate psychic and self-sacrificing so this is probably you libra especially if you're watching this right now if you're a woman libra i really feel like this reading is is going towards women libras but like i said don't let this stop you from watching this video if you're a male libra this could be speaking to uh, women that are in your life or it could just be speaking to you in the feminine side of who you are Libra because there are male Libras out there that are feminine as well I'm a feminine male so I'm really in tune with my feminine side as well just throwing that out there but anyway follow your heart Libra this is what this is saying follow your heart trust your intuition um there's a deep love for family and friends that you are radiating but people can take advantage of that and that's not what no look the Queen of Cups is the most taken advantage of Queen, like, because she's so emotional and caring. So, Libra, that's what I'm getting from you. It's like showing up in your reading because you could be very emotionally and caring for other people that, um, you know, you'd be sacrificing yourself a little bit too much for other people that's not really reciprocating that back for you. And that has to change. We got to find that balance. That's why that knocking you out of balance. You remember the reciprocation has to be there. It has to. So what's going on unconsciously for Libra? What is driving this situation for Libra? What is the factors? Like, what's the hidden factors for Libra? What's going on below the surface that Libra is having a hard time? Okay. 
There we go. We have it. The what's going on below the surface for you is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So uh, I really feel like it's an earth sign that you might be dealing with, Libra. It could be a male too, because it's the Knight of Pentacles. And this card speaks to someone that's when it's in reverse. It's like this person is very disloyal, not dedicated to you, not protective of you either, and does not really sit to think about you and what you could be going through. Um, so I feel like this is knocking you out of balance too because you you have to plan carefully and take action, but then get going. You can't sit around and wait for someone that's not loyal or dedicated to you. I really feel like if you are dealing with the air sign, um, I mean, excuse me, Libra, an uh, earth sign, this is definitely special confirmation that you need to let this person go. Um, because yeah, there's something that you, you feel like you, yeah, oh my God. See, so the nine of wands popped up at the bottom of the deck along with the eight of cups. So this combination is given that you are not really it's like you have to protect yourself by walking away, Libra. The Nine of Wands is a card of protection, resilience, being able to push through. And this Eight of Cups is walking away from old emotional baggage or things from the past. You got to move on. But it's like you try not to. You're trying not to. But yeah, I don't know. I do see like a man that that could be getting in the way of your money too. A guardian angel. Someone is looking over you. Just wait for... The perfect time is now, though. The perfect time, if you are dealing with an air sign that is knocking you out, I mean, an earth sign that is knocking you out of balance. Uh, what is the earth signs? The earth signs are uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Libra, and they are seem to be knocking you out of balance, it doesn't matter how long you've been in a relationship with this person. Um, if they're not loyal to you, you must let them go. Um, did I ask for... The future. No, 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 no. Okay, so we got... See, so the King of Pentacles is showing up too for you. So I feel like as soon as you can let go of this Knight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is going to come right to you, Libra, because you deserve it. Also, this could be your energy representing you not planning and uh, planning for your life to move forward. But I think that you're getting the picture because the King of Pentacles just popped up for you along with the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, which speaks to um, a new, beautiful, emotional experience coming for you. So I really feel like once you let go of this Knight of Pentacles energy, you are gonna come, you're going to find a King of Pentacles that's super compassionate, has a lot accomplished, has a charismatic personality, and very much grounded. Um, it's a very successful time. I feel like you should be happy, though. This is what's really going on below the surface for you, Libra. Tell me about what, how Libra is seeing this. How is Libra seeing? Okay, right now you know. Look, Libra, this popped up for you. This is how you are viewing yourself. Magic is alive in your life. You are the magician. You do have the ability to take your thoughts and create real life experiences for yourself. You have done it your whole life. What you need to be a success will manifest. And if you believe it, you can do it, Libra. Okay. So there's a lot of magic taking place. You know that you're magical as well. Look at this. Oh my God. That showed up for you too, Libra. Look, the nine of pentacles is enjoying the fruits of your labor. You have worked. You have really put in the work. You have put in the work to get where you are, Libra. A lot of hard work that you've dedicated to your life and it's a luxurious life that you are really wanting right now but this magic you see what i'm saying you have everything that you need you need to believe it if you want to believe it you can do it also if you are a libra right now um that is super self that's self-employed shout out to you because it's not easy it is not easy to uh take your life into your own hands and really stay dedicated to the cause and work but now there's a lot of fruits of labor that you can really be enjoying also, this card can speak to enjoying your solitude. Take some time to, um, for yourself, Libra. Take some time for yourself so that you can really get your beliefs back in check because other people could have been knocking you out of balance, making you not believe yourself. Um, yeah, what else for Libra on this future? Yeah, the page, <clears throat> page of swords. So I really do feel like you're dealing with some sort of earth sign, some sort of Capricorn or something. <laughs> I think you're dealing with a Capricorn, Libra, but hey, at the end of the day, um, you just have to review your documents very carefully. Just don't move too fast. I feel like be very logical. Shift your perspective. Be insightful. 
okay? Get to the point of the matter. Don't let people run, cut off anything that is, look at this big sword that's right here. This is a major transformation that's taking place in your life, Libra. So stay grounded, stay solid, like this rock that the page is sitting on. Stay solidly grounded in your perceptions, in your mentality. Stay logical about the situation. Don't get too emotionally attached to, um, uh, any new loving relationship or person that might be trying to come into your life really quick because the page of swords is a very quick card a, a fast moving person and it can be dangerous they can be harmful or hurtful um or very sharp that's why that blade is really long so be careful also you don't want to be moving too fast either what is the environment for libra libra's environment please what's the environment what are the external influences in the social environment surrounding this situation for Libra? Mm. Okay. Environment is okay. Ten, the Ten of Swords is a closure card. You need to move. You need to move along. I'm getting your environment is causing you to feel like you have to move. Like there's some sort of closure that is, you're getting some sort of closure from your environment right now, Libra. Pay attention to your environment. There's a lot being shown to you right now about how much people care about you or, um, you know what I mean? How much you feel good when you are walking away from certain people. You need to pay attention to that because this is in your environment right now. It's getting walk, moving on to better things. Look at this. The door is open and you ready to walk through Libra and you leaving behind all of those past thoughts and beliefs it's an opportunity for new happiness showing up for you and it's a weight off of your shoulders for real when you can leave this old environment behind of ego and stagnation or just people not um people knocking you out of balance like whoever it is and then this showed up at the bottom of the deck for you the ten of wands which is you working too hard but it's a completion card both of these are two completion cards where it's like you are finally coming to the end of some sort of experience but you can ask for assistance and if you are dealing with any health problems you definitely need to bring balance back into your life get out into nature take some time for yourself let others help you libra okay what's the hopes and fears for libra hopes and fears for libra the king of swords is like uh being non-emotional the king of swords this is the hopes and fears card for you so right now you might be uh, emotionally unavailable or you might be unable to communicate clearly or there could be some man in your life like i said that um you might be afraid of cutting off because you feel like he could hurt you or harm you or something but like i don't know you are renewed there's some sort of resurrection there's some new life coming to you there's new purpose it's just time to head in a new direction that's what the renewal card speaks to. It's time for you to cut off whoever it is that you need to cut off. Don't be afraid to do it. You do have the intellect. You do have the ability to um, make it happen. You see what I'm saying? Like, you are strong. The King of Swords is a very um, don't play with me type card. But in reverse, it's an imbalance there. So maybe, you know, normally, I feel like... You might not be in that energy for yourself, Libra. You might be letting people play with you right now. Um, I hope not. Don't do not do that. Don't do that. And also, don't let nobody else assert themselves in your lives. Don't let no king of swords that think that they just going to run up in your ish and just, you know, have way with you. No, they're not. They're not. If you don't let them, if you walk away. So, uh, yeah, what's the environment? More of the environment for, yeah. See, so the king of, <laughs> this popped up too. It went into... It almost popped up in reverse. So I, I think that, yeah, it could be a man that is very, that's a part of your life that is super inspiring and he has some sort of status, super creative, but his thoughts are out of alignment. And I think that you could be afraid of this person or you really want this person to come back into your life or you don't even want them to leave. That's what I'm starting to get because this, this is king energy popping up twice. So um, I feel like there's some sort of person of status that you are afraid to cut off and to let go. But you can do it because this is this is your energy letting me know too that you have the ability to step up and be ambitious and take the leadership role in your life. And, um, you know, not being afraid of other people's criticism. Even if that king of swords that you might be cutting off or that person you might be cutting off be mad and got a lot to say about you. Oh, well, like that's that's on them. 
at the end of the day. So what's the final outcome for Libra? Final outcome for Libra. The, the lovers wanted to pop out in reverse, but look, this is your final outcome, Libra. Oh my God, it's an amazing new opportunity coming through for you with the Ace of Wands. It is a very optimistic time. Now is time to take action. You have to take action, Libra. Do what you are passionate about, okay? Find it. This is a child showing up in this card too, so your child could be amazing inspiration for you right now, Libra. You can have a child that... Um, that is going to bring a, a, some sort of creative spark or something out of you. But this is the opportunity for you right now showing up as well as um, the lovers in reverse and the star in reverse. So, okay, so what I'm getting from this at the bottom of the deck with the lovers, the star and the six of wands in reverse is... Um, see the beauty in you, Okay. Look at this, because below the surface, it's like some sort of love that you want. There's some sort of loving connection, some marriage or some sort of um, something that you don't have faith in in your victory. There's some sort of victory that you are really wanting. But I'm telling you, like it's coming for you. It's coming in for you, Libra. Do not be afraid to take action because you are the universe. OK, you are the freaking universe. I see a lot of green cards. So and there's a few major arcana cards that popped up. So there's some major decisions that you need to take right now, um, Libra, and everything is going to work out for you. If you guys resonated with this reading, please comment below, give this video a thumbs up and share it with another Libra that you feel can uh, resonate with this as well. Peace, love and prosperity. And I'll see you guys in the next reading.